Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to take my 3D printed electrolysis machine and see if I can run an engine. If you've seen the previous video where I uh, built and tested this unit, you'll know that it leaked all over the place. So the first thing I have to do is take it apart and silicone all of the faces and the fittings and then put it all back together. After I got it all sealed up, I need an engine to use it on. What I've decided to use is a three and a half horse Tecumseh lawnmower engine, primarily just because of its ease of modification for this application. Well, here's the lawnmower I'm gonna use. As you can see, I've already pulled off the gas tank and the air intake, and I gotta get busy and fasten my air intake slash Venturi onto it. This is my intake, what I'm gonna bolt on the engine. Before I bolt it on, I'm gonna show you what it, what's going on. Uh, we'll start with the check valve. This is from uh, oxyacetylene torch. Should stop any backflow or a backfire from going into the hydrogen generator. The fuel will come in here and this may or, not, may or may not be capped. If not capped, I'll have this on here as sort of an upside down float bowl to store any excess fuel and it'll be drawn into the intake. Kind of can't see very well in there, but there's a Venturi and that tube goes inside there. More or less set up. Got my water and electrolyte. The meter, or the unit, the reservoir. It's connected to the fuel system. And I'm gonna power this starting off anyways with the same power brick I used before. Now it says 3.2 amps, we're getting about, or 3.4 I should say, we're getting about 4.4 before. Which, if you know anything about the laws of thermal dynamics, means this shouldn't work at all. But, we'll try anyways. It's running, plugged in. I gotta wait till all the uh, normal air gets cleared out of the system. I don't know if that's gonna be enough gas flow. I'm likely gonna need a larger power supply. I'm pretty excited about those results. However, it still needs some tuning. So I'll start with, uh, I stuffed the rag in the end of the throttle, or air intake basically, to choke it off a bit. So I made the rag 2.0, then I'm gonna use this to choke it off, but still allow a little bit of air through. Now, I talked about how, if you know anything about thermal dynamics, that little power supply wasn't gonna have enough. So the idea behind that is 
the engine is three and a half horsepower and one horsepower being I think 738 watts that power supply is nowhere near powerful enough to make three and a half horsepower for any sustainable amount of time however if I can just get it to run for a few minutes I'd be satisfied with this experiment so what the idea of that smaller pop bottle was was to store hydrogen now I had some issues with that so I made the tube longer made a barb and I also made a little bit of a restriction in there so it should kind of control the flow a little bit better I'm outside again with some mod with the modifications I got the larger reservoir and I've tied everything to the lawnmower so if it actually works I can move it Looks like I have an issue. I've been running it for about 10 minutes and I barely have any sort of gas flow. I'm thinking the wires busted off, like eroded off inside the hydrogen generator. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot anyways, just see what happens. Okay, I got her back inside. Gotta pull her apart, see what the hell's wrong. Now I don't see any physical damage to anything. So I actually don't know what its deal was. I'm assuming maybe I wasn't didn't have enough electrolyte into the water mixture at the bottom. I'm not sure. Maybe that power supply just can't produce the amperage anymore. Maybe I damaged it. It's still putting out 20 volts, but... Well, I'm going to call it. I took everything off already. It seems to be a good proof of concept, but I need a little, it's a long ways to go. This unit here and this power supply max out at about 65 watts that seems to be about the maximum I can put through there without anything overheating and this is just PETG so it you know it'll melt fairly easily I uh, got to get this sorted out a little bit better I, I'm assuming this being open on the bottom is a problem when I get any sort of wind yeah a long ways to go but I did have it running for about 30 seconds on hydrogen there so again I'm excited and happy with that result I would have liked to have been able to actually cut some grass with it but doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon and i have other projects i want to work on also i don't want to damage this anymore because i need it for a few future videos well if you made it this far please like and subscribe maybe share it with some of your friends if they like this sort of stuff i'm going to share all the models and sdls on thingiverse and cults 3d please 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 if you do try and do this at home again I don't recommend it but if you do try and do this at home please be careful this shit can be dangerous anyways have a good one guys